it's a huge honor. Um, it's a child dream for me, um, watching Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly uh, on the screen when I was four years old, which was the reason why I started dancing in the first place. Um, didn't know I was going to be singing and acting at the same time um, in a show like this on Broadway, but here we are, um, 30 years later, uh, doing a show like this on Broadway and being recognized. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing. Pretty heady, huh? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm in the clouds a little bit right now. I mean, I'm even thinking when you were a little kid that you were watching Fred Astaire. I was watching. It was the whole reason. My parents were uh, in the other room in the kitchen. They were. I, I was literally this close to a TV watching Fred in black and white. And they were like, okay, we should put that kid in class. And I just, I loved it. I what loved everything it? about what it. What is it about dance? I think it was my ability to express freely. That, that, was, that was my language. You know, when I danced, I, first of all, I felt most free, and I felt like I was giving something back of myself. Um, yeah, it was just a constant communication. Um, even when I get into the studio by myself to dance, there's something about um, the feeling of uh, freedom, you know, that, that, that goes along with it. Let's talk a little bit more about the music mm -hmm. of On the Town. Sure. A favorite song or a song that really resonates with the audience. I've been a so yeah, much. I mean, I've been a fan of Bernstein since I was a kid as well. Uh, West Side Story and then now On the Town. I never knew that this musical on stage was this profound. He wrote these classical legit ballads that I get to sing every night, which, you know, I, I never want them that those moments to end. And then I get to do these huge 10 minute ballets. Um, and then there's these crazy comedy sketches along the way that John Rando has so brilliantly like sketched together. So you have the best of, um, you know, it's Betty Comden, Adolph Green, Leonard Bernstein. And, you know, they wrote the show when they were in their 20s. So they were in their like youth and they were vibrant and they threw this show together and it was this a masterpiece in their mid 20s. Um, that baffles me. But, uh, but uh, to be able to get to do all of that in one show and uh, to have a 30, you know, 28 piece orchestra and 32 people on the stage, um, it clearly people are loving it. You know, we've been, we've been doing it for um, what, I guess seven months now on Broadway and uh, 250 shows later, you know what I mean? Like we're banging these shows out and um, I couldn't be prouder to be a part of this cast. It's such a tribute to New York City, this show. I it mean, is. It is all about New York City. It really is. It's, an, it's a Valentine to New York. You have these three sailors that come off and it's about 24 hours in New York and what are you going to do and the sights and the sounds and, and then they just want to fall in love and then when they do they have to leave and go back to war and what's going to happen? It, will they ever come back? Um, so um, this show really is about um, falling in love in a big city like New York in 24 hours and what, what can happen in, in all of the emotional states that you're in and my character uh, he just wears his heart on his sleeve and he's really vulnerable and he just tells it like it is. He's, you know, he falls in love and he's not afraid to tell the world, you know, and then he has to go away to war again, so. What does being nominated mean to you? Um, I, I, uh, I feel grateful. Um, I know that's very cliche, but there's been a lot of people in my life since I was a kid that helped me get here and, uh, I can't not think about them and think that they are the reason why I've been so encouraged my entire life to do what I do. And um, from the singing to the dancing, my mother pushed me when I was, you know, a, a little kid to keep practicing in the morning. She'd tap dance over and over and over. She would bang her foot on the, on the floor and I would be in the basement and I'd be practicing for hours. And I just think, gosh, if it wasn't for these people, I would never be here, you know? And um, so this is an acknowledgement, but it's more so an acknowledgement of everybody in my past that's helped me.